Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I got two packages today, and I just thought I'd do kind of like an unboxing type of thing. Um, and I haven't done an unboxing video before, I don't think, uh, so it'll be kind of different. Um, I have to use my iPod, unfortunately, so it's probably going to be a disaster, but uh, we'll start here. Anyways, this is uh, from Tere Electronics. They're an electronics supply store based in Thailand. And they're China prices, but their uh, their their quality is is pretty decent. Um, like their resistors are a penny a piece. I don't really buy their resistors though, because they got really thin leads. Um, and I really don't like to buy their capacitors because they're kind of older. Um, and they got they're like the really big ones. And, yeah. So, anyways, um, this order here was five dollars and two cents because there's a five dollar limit um, and I only needed these boards anyways but I just bought some other stuff um, these boards here are 140 by 74 millimeters I believe um, or no 142 by 74 millimeters these are a buck 15 a piece and I got three of them um, bought some uh, oh, I also needed these um, 1N5819 uh, Schottky diodes. These are ten cent or four cents a piece on there. Uh, that's kind of versus the forty cents that uh, DigiKey charges for their cheapest ones. And I've noticed no difference between these and the DigiKey ones. So, um, and these are made by EIC, I believe, um, which is a semiconductor factory. I have or semiconductor manufacturer. I have no idea where they're located, though. To be honest with you, uh, two five five fives. Five five fives. Oh, it's been a long day. Um, we have here just a six amp rocker switch. This was like twenty nine cents, I think. It's illuminated. Um. Oh, my sockets are in the other room. Um, three millimeter green LED. Those were two cents. Red LED. That was two cents. Um, a ten k trimmer pot. Hmm. This was uh, 24 cents, I believe. Someone's got their car out there having a little fun. And some 4.7 volt Zener diodes. So that's from Tayday. That was that was 502 plus a buck 26 for shipping. And I received it in the well, it shipped Monday. And today's Wednesday, so it normally doesn't come that fast. I think it shipped Friday, and they just didn't say anything. Um, so from DigiKey what we have is a 20 millimeter uh, toroid, ferrite toroid. This is, um, this has a, what is it, an AL of like 9,000 something I think. Um, it's T38 material, so. Oh, we got some capacitors here. We have uh, 680 I believe, yep. 16 volts, 680 micro, or 10, 10 volts, 680 microfarads, and then some 220 microfarad, 16 volt caps. All of my caps come from Panasonic, all my electrolytic ones anyways. Um, here we have a 220 microfarad, 10 volt capacitor. Um, another capacitor, this is what, I think, yep, 680 at 16 volts. Um... Some resistors. Here's another capacitor. This is 3.3 .3 nanofarad, 50 volt ceramic cap. I really, really like the uh, the RED um, series caps. I think they're RED, um, something like that. Come from Murata Electronics over in Japan. They're really, really, really nice. I never had any problems with them. Uh, I got a, just a, a half watt resistor here. These come from. Vache, I highly recommend these. These are the resistors I buy. They're like 17 cents a piece and they're half watt and they have pretty much all the values values in, you'll ever need in that series. So, well, let's see, I thought I had another resistor in here. I guess not. So, um, we got 247 microfarad 16 volt SMD um, tantalum caps. Um, and you'll see what those are for later on in another video. Uh, we have a UCC 37322. We have another UCC. We have a 3731 321 around here somewhere. Right here. We have an SG3525, which is a PWM chip. We have some 1N4148 diodes. 
Um, 74HC 14N by NXP. And then a 74HC 109 by NXP semiconductor. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's there's still a few more boxes that I have to get. Like there's one at my mom's because um, I was gonna and I was ending up I was gonna go there for a little while, but uh, ended up not. So I have to go pick that up eventually. Um, but yeah, this order here was like 15 bucks, I think, from DigiKey or something like that. So it's not too bad. Um, they're still pretty pricey, but uh, you get what you pay for, I guess. Um, so I do have one more box. Here we go. We're going to go through there because I do have some parts in here that I've been kind of collecting up. This was the old board. Um, you can see there the tantalum caps. The surface mount ones are going to go underneath. Um, I'm getting rid of all these... Uh, um, male pin header things here um, and I'm going to do a little bit different layout to make it a little neater because I don't really like I epoxied over the wires there because that's what heat sink was for the regulator I didn't really like that so this garbage um, got some LEDs here a green one and a red one we got uh, ferrite some ferrite things a fuse some more capacitors um, some more resistors um, just some basic hardware parts here, nothing too fancy there, some gold plated RCA jacks, some fuses, um, just some random parts, um, uh, jumper leads, um, I have two of these 10k pots, which come from Burns, um, I really recommend these pots, they are like 12 bucks a piece for the 10k ones, and then as you go up in value, they go up to like 13 bucks. Um, but they're, I don't know if you can read that or not, but they are, uh, they have a resolution, uh, a resistance of 10K plus minus 5% and a linearity of 0.25%. So they're, they are really good. Um, I love these things. Uh, I actually got these from a surplus store, but uh, on DigiKey, they're 12 bucks or 11.35 or something like that. 560 microfarad, 200 volt cap. Um, and then here we have 6 volt regulator, 12 volt regulator, 270 microfarad, 16 volt cap, a 0.56 microfarad cap, bridge rectifier, two diodes. Um, we got four uh, Zener diodes connected in an anti parallel. We have, uh, um, or anti series, I guess. Yeah, sorry. And then 2.68, 250 volt uh, caps there. That's pretty much, that's all the bridge parts right there, pretty much. Um, a heat sink I drilled and tapped out. Um, uh, the insulators for that. Uh, just a thing of wire. And then just some uh, tweezers for a little bit finer stuff. Um, yeah, oh, and we have this here too, which is like a, just some more wire with a plug, because the bridge will have plugs on it uh, for easy access, but uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So, uh, oh, I had some 44 gauge wire there as well. Uh, so, yeah, but that's all I got for you guys right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this long-ass, boring-ass video, and uh, if you're still alive, peace out, and I'll see you in the next video.